Hey guys, welcome everyone, car enthusiasts. My name is Francis. Francis on the, in the camera behind you, my son there, okay? Uh, today guys, we're gonna do a semi-review of our car. It's the 2021 Volkswagen Passat, okay? Now, I am a car enthusiast, but by no means am I an expert. Even though the, my YouTube channel says I'm an expert, but I just have a love for cars. Riding them, reading about them, detailing them. <laughs> okay, so this is our car. We just wanted to give you a quick run around, guys. This is a 2021 Volkswagen Passat. As you can see here, this is the R-Line. This is the R-Line. There's three models of this 2021. There's the S, which has the, uh, you know, the key start, doesn't have leather seats, things like that. Then you have the middle SE, which you have leather seats and uh, some other options, okay? This is the top of the line R-Line, okay? This is the leather, uh, adaptive cruise control, cruise control, all types of features. And we'll get into that, guys. I just want to take you around here to the front on the outside of the car. Look how awesome this looks. With the R9 badging, new Volkswagen logo. Awesome, look at the hood lines. It's great. Great aerodynamic. Very cool car. Very cool. As we come around the side, okay. I mentioned the R-Line badging. Look at all the, uh, all the all the body lines. Look at all the body lines. Keyless entry. Okay. Shark fin antenna. As you look at here, you have full LED lights. I didn't mention the LED lights in the front, guys. They have LED lights. In the front as well they come standard okay and look at how big this trunk is guys I know I have a lot of things in here uh, let me get my detailing stuff out of the way if you look in there this is a huge huge trunk okay you have no problem going to BJ's Costco everything okay some of my detailing products here. Here, look, let's give chemical guys a plug here. <laughs> this thing is extra shiny for the interior. Again, you know. This thing, guys, is awesome. New car smell. I I don't know what other smell than this. It smells just like you drove off the lot, guys. All right, okay. So, as I mentioned, huge, huge trunk. Okay, let's give this a close. All right. Okay. And this is the other side. Okay. Let's go on the inside. Let's go there. That's it. Okay, so I'm gonna have my son focus on the door there the door panels, the inside, the door panels, you know, very sleek, chrome handle, elegant decorations, all right, soft leather. As we go inside the car, you see the dashboard, you know, it, it's elegant, guys, and simplistic at the same time. Not me, focus on the, on the cars, okay? All right, okay. As we go, you, there's an there's an eight inch screen. Here, let me, I'm gonna turn the car on, the start button here. Just so you guys can see the screen. All right. Okay. So yeah, this car, it is elegant at the same time simple. Let me get my Sirius XM there. You have the FM. Radio, touchscreen menu, very simple, very intuitive, guys. Okay. As we go around here, 
there's a dashboard okay i need some gas mind you it's not digital it would be better if it would be digital but hey you know shame on you volkswagen everybody's going digital okay auto headlights you have a compartment there this i like the sport pedals they're awesome okay this steering wheel is comfortable very comfortable you have the indentations here it's easy to maneuver very light steering okay you have your climate controls you have your shift knob cup holders okay you have your uh compartment here which i have stuff to the gills but hey you know the doors here guys with the lip with the r-line badging okay you have power door power controls for the for the driver on the passenger it is manual but hey, it's okay see the r-line has a roof it's a sunroof it's not panoramic but it does the job it's very good guys the sc i think has a roof i know the s doesn't okay uh like i said guys this car elegant but simplistic you know could the screen be a little bigger sure could the the digital cockpit could it be digital of course you know um comparing this to other cars in their segment like the hyundai sonata and things like that this has a much better engine guys okay if you're looking for an engine engineering Volkswagen German engineering is the way to go uh, sure Hyundai has you know the digital cockpits the things like that but this engine is much better than the than the Hyundai Sonatas okay I've had them both and I prefer this car 100% okay let's go ahead shut it off okay and now guys let's go jump in the back seat jump in the back seat and show you how much leg room we have okay now I'm six feet tall look at how much headroom look at how much leg room and the seats are almost all to the back it is awesome guys okay family of four like our family we have more than enough room okay you have your pockets here come standard you have your climate controls, which is my son's favorite part of the car, since he can charge his iPhone. You have the USB chargers there. Okay. You, know, you have this thing with the cup holders. It's very soft. Okay. It is very nice, guys. All right. Let's pop the hood and see what's powering. Let's see the engine. Huh? Okay. Sorry guys, I'm a little slow. Very nice, 170 horsepower. I'm not sure the feet of torque, but this car definitely has some pep, guys. This car is about zero to 60 in seven seconds. Uh, like I said, it is def it's more than enough, you know? You're not gonna have drag racing. You're not gonna have drag racing, but It'll definitely get you where you're going. It is no speed slouch by any by any means. Okay, uh, the Arteon will be nice, you know, with its 268. 
well the 2022 is coming out with 300 horsepower now but uh Artian is out of your price range, which it was for me. So we have the Passat. Uh, this is a great car, guys. All right. Let's go ahead. All right. This car in black is awesome, guys. Okay. Uh, just to finish up, guys. This, we didn't drive it today, but this is a very smooth car. It's nice handling, okay? It's, it's a front wheel drive, so the acceleration, there is some slippage. All you car enthusiasts would know what that means. <laughs> there is a little bit because it is front wheel drive, so all that power at the same time to the front wheels. Um, in any event, guys, like I said, comparing this to the midsize sedan, I know everybody's SUV crazy now. But for a car like this that costs a little over $30,000, you can't go wrong. The design is elegant, but sim simple, elegant, black, all one piece metal. It is an awesome looking car. It handles great, it rides great. Uh, like I said, I had a Hyundai Sonata and this car is better. The, uh, the tech on the Sonata might be better, uh, but engine wise this car is better okay guys first video of my own car hopefully there'll be many more to come i'll be doing uh some family members car we have some genesis in the family things like that uh you car dealers if you see this video you want to send me some cars so i can review them hey i'll take that as well okay guys uh Anything you want to know about the car, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll get back to you. It's my first video, so I don't have that many subscribers. You'll get a response. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching, for staying all the way through. And if you can, pick this up. You won't go wrong with the Passat. All right. Have a good one, guys. Thank you for watching.